Hi again, it's Katie from Alveston Park Friends. Now, here's something that we tried earlier in the week. It didn't quite go to plan, so I thought I'd do another go um, right now. Um, this is a video I made earlier of me making one of the craft activities that Derby Museums have made for our star party. Um, it is a Constellation um, pinwheel. Now, just before I play that, um, I just wanted to explain to you what a constellation was. So a constellation is effectively a star picture. People play dot to dot with the stars. And you can do this yourself. Um, you can just grab a picture of the stars, join the dots, create whatever you like. People have been doing this for thousands and thousands of years. Now there are 88 official constellations um, which all fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. So the whole sky is split into 88 sections, each of those one of the official constellations. Sometimes you have star pictures like, for example, the plough, some people call it the saucepan. Um, that's an asterism. It's, an asterism is really commonly known, but is not one of the official constellations. In fact, the plough is part of Ursa Major or the Great Bear. OK, and that is an official constellation. OK, so I'm just going to try and share my screen. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Yeah, you got that. I'm just going to try and move this. We'll go from the beginning. And here you go. Oh, I just need to restart that. <laughs> Didn't go right second time either, but how about third time, Lucky? Here you go. Hey, everybody. I'm Katie from Alveston Park Friends, and I'm going to show you today how to make a Zodiac Constellations pinwheel. And this is an activity that has been created for us by Derby Museum. So you can go onto their website and find this. You can also go onto alvestonparkfriends.org.uk and we'll have it there. Now what you'll need is one of these printouts, a pipe cleaner or if you prefer a split pin and a pair of scissors and what we've got to do first is cut out the two circles so I'm going to start off with the first one and I'm just going to cut around here now the best thing to do this way is going to be a piece of thin card now I don't have any thin card and as you can see by the edges of my paper here, my print is a little sick already. I don't really want to risk carding it at the moment. I'll sort that out when I have a little more time. So, I'm using paper and that's perfectly okay. Um, it's just to do with it with paper than not do bother because you think, oh no, I haven't got exactly the right things. You can usually improvise a little. Now, here it says cut out this section. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut down the dust lines here and here. And then I'm going to cut out that second bit there. There we go. Now I'm going to do the second circle, and this has the zodiac constellations on. Now these are really important star pictures in the night sky for astronomers because this, these are the places to look for the planets. They will travel through different constellations as time goes on so they won't stay in one place that's how we know that they're planets
the word planet comes from the Greek meaning wanderer. So they wander between these different places in the sky. So there we go. I've got my two circles. Now I'm going to get my pipe cleaner and I'm going to cut a section off about this big. That'll do nicely. Now, the instructions suggest to use a hole punch. Now, if you've got a single hole punch, it might work. I tried with my regular double hole punch. You can quite welcome to try too, but I failed miserably. So I'm improvising with a pipe cleaner and I'm just going to push it through this black dot in the middle of the star. I'm going to put it all the way through, partly to make the hole a little bigger, partly because it's quite satisfying. I'm going to do the same here. Okay, push it through and out the other side. Brilliant. Now, if you've got a split pin, this is where you use that. Um, I'm improvising with this piece of pipe cleaner. I'm just going to bend it into a loop and push the bottom together. Okay. I'm going to put it through the star first. Be careful with your fingers as you push it through. Okay. And then I'm going to push it through the lower section here. And it's not quite lined up. There we go, it's better. And just to fix things in place a little better, I'm going to make this work like a split pin. I'm just going to pull the legs apart a little and that will hold it all in place. Okay, so that's what the bottom looks like. Much better to look at the top though. We can turn this around. I'll stop at one of my favourite constellations. This is Taurus, the bull. Um, if you've got really good imaginations, you can start making out the picture of a bull in there. Um, and the lovely thing is, it's seen during autumn and winter. Well, that's now. Taurus is gorgeous in the sky, but if it's a different um, constellation you want to look at, you can just turn this around and you can find out what it is. Leo the lion there. January to June. Look for this backwards question mark in the sky. That's what I always do. I look for those pictures that you recognise. Um, of course, if you like, you can go ahead and, and do a whole decoration around here. Maybe choose your favourite constellation to draw a picture of or just make it pretty different colours, fit it with stars, whatever you like. A constellation pinwheel. Thank you very much. Okay, so that was a constellation um, pinwheel that I attempted earlier this week. Um, and you can have a go and make that. It's, it's quite good fun. It, it's quite nice. It doesn't take too long. And then you've got something useful that you can use when you have a look at the night sky. Um, I see a couple of people have joined us. Thank you very much for joining. Um, I'm going to say bye for now, except for don't forget to tune in at 6 p.m. Tonight is Mercury. Um, and I'm going to give you a tour around the closest planet to the sun. And after that, it's fire, ice and aliens. Fantastic. Um, that's all about the four largest moons of Jupiter and they are really are fantastic worlds. Um, see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.